that ambiance back. Yeah, about to say, well, yeah. We got the that. lounge, the, the, the lounge the with the TK lounge. lounge. It's I'm three hours ahead, and it's dark outside already. So <laughs> that's really, where we're at. Five o'clock. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, it's starting to get dark. Yeah, our dubs, our dubs, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Just we we're talking about it here. I don't, I don't think they have. Like, I don't see it turning around. Like, I'm not saying they're going to miss the playoffs, but I don't see them turning this around to the point where they're in the top six. I think at best this is a playing team. You know, it's rough because I, I just had Sam Esvindiari and Andy Lou on the podcast yesterday, so it dropped today, mm -hmm. and they feel the same way. You know, they feel like a move has to be made. Obviously, Clay Thompson's not playing well. He's He stinks right now, and – and this is my this is what my theory is, and and they agree. And sort of, I think Steve Kerr has intimated things that sort of say the same thing to a degree. It's like one, you play pretty well in the playoffs, and then you get to the off season. You've got the celebration of the ring, but also okay, now it's time to get to work, and the off season runs are happening. But last year when you were rehabbing, you weren't allowed to do those. The year before that, you tore your Achilles doing those. So now it's time to do it this offseason. And you're like, yeah, I'm still kind of worried. I still have the trauma over that. So he doesn't do them. He just opts out of the only way that you can stay into basketball shape, which is actually playing five-on-five -five basketball. There is no other way to be in basketball shape. Like, there is nothing that you can do. And, all right, so then he gets to camp, and he's out of condition in basketball, out of basketball condition. And every shot is hitting the front of the rim. And now everyone's slandering him because of it. And it's like – He's not the same. He sucks now. And now there's the mental side of him kind of almost spiraling, I think, and getting really into his feelings. We saw him get ejected. We saw him get into it with Devin Booker. We saw him get into it with Ronnie Suke. He's clapping back on, <laughs> like, yeah, like he's going after them. And then, like, it's just like, man, this is the most emo I've ever seen, Clay. And all of the teammates, Steph, Draymond, even Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole put his hands on his head. I look back at it. He's put his hands on his head when Clay is shooting threes. Mm. You know, you know, you know what it is. And you guys bear with me. I'm not in the NBA and I'm not comparing what I do to Clay Thompson or any other NBA player. But I still hoop, right? And there there came a time, maybe about two or three years ago, when I knew I can't do what I used to do. I knew maybe before. Other people, and I try to hide it a little bit or whatever, but I knew like I can't, I'm I just can't do what I, I'm at that point in my life. Clay Thompson has so much more basketball left than I did at 36 or 37 years old. But if anybody knows, like I'm I'm not what I was, I can't do that no more. He knows, and I think that's why we saw some of this irrational behavior where you know he like loses it on Devin Booker. Talking trash, like it's we're just talking trash, and he loses it. And Ronnie Two K and all this other stuff. I think he knows before anybody. He, knows he went like, on an Instagram tirade over Ronnie Two K. He was like, "Why do you even put this clown on ESPN? He's not even a real person in the sports space." And I was like, "Yo, what is he talking about right now?" He knows. Oh well, that's oh, not well. our problem. <laughs> Do you, let me ask you guys this. Do you guys feel like the, how would I put this? How would I say this in a way that's not disrespectful to Golden State and not disrespectful to Sacramento? Do you feel like some of the same principles that it's like sort of diet Golden State in terms of how this Sacramento team is playing? Like a lot of extra passes, like a lot of motion, a lot of guys. Sure. Yeah, I guess yeah. So. sure. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That, that, yeah, that's, no, I don't think that's insulting. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't, I don't. I mean, Golden State has won four championships. Yep. Like, mm -hmm. it's okay to emulate them. And you're getting yep. a coach that came from. Yeah, them. that's right. not a problem. Yeah, yeah that that that, that, awesome. that doesn't bother me a bit. Yeah. De'Aaron was talking last night. I think that James Hamm. I was listening to some of his comments, and he was like, "Yeah, when guys share the ball at, like effortlessly, and they make the extra pass, like guys are just. Mm -hmm. Of course, we're shooting that well from three. We're open." Like we're yeah. wide open. Yeah. It's it's kind of what Damien talked about. And I think we all learned from Steve Kerr 
over those championship years. He used to always talk about 30 assists. Mm -hmm. So now Damian does it. I do it. Like we look at, all right, they scored a lot of points. What's the assist numbers? Oh, 28, 29, 31. Yep. That's, that's why. Last three, last three Sacramento is averaging in the last three games. They are number one in assists per game. Mm. Little I think they're like maybe number three or four on the season, like the entire season. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, in it, you know, you, Utah is up there, San Antonio, even in the loss last night had 29 assists. Mm-hmm. So it's not like a perfect form. <laughs> like they, they lost by 20 and they, you know, they had 29 assists. Well, they went up against the, they went up against the game. They, 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 they went do? up, but they went up against the beam. What are they <laughs> going to do? Nothing right. but lose nothing, but not only lose, not even cover guys. It was my favorite <laughs> bet of the bet. Be, favorite bet of the night was Kings we were, minus seven and a half. We were tripping off that too. Yeah. We were like, what? like, I think at one point we saw it. We don't eight. know what to we think like, when that what? happens. What's like, going what? on? <laughs> Okay. You're like, this is a fishy line. I can't wait for you to get here. Me we'll too. Take, we'll, we'll take your picture in front of the beam and everything. <laughs> I'm just pumped because, like, I'm going on all these different radio hits around the country, and I have evangelized to the point where I've got people from Buffalo. I've got people from Rochester. I've got people from Memphis. I've got people from Baltimore being like, I'm in on the Kings now. I am now – on the king's bandwagon and i'm like and they're like tristan are they gonna break my heart and i'm like i don't know but it doesn't matter it's fun <laughs> i played good man yeah They're good i played you guys to win the division what yeah that's crazy what's what's so what's that's just phoenix it's really just well the clippers yeah yeah phoenix clippers warriors Golden State. What, it was 66 to one when i gave it out on the internets it's now 45 to one two days later that's crazy. It's going down like that. Mm. <laughs> That's crazy. It's going down like that. <laughs> it's going to get worse. Take it now. The odds will get worse. I bet it. I bet by. I bet by Christmas, it'll be 20 to one. Wow. Are the Kings the hottest thing in the NBA right now? I think, it, I think yes. It's mm. been trending like the beam trending. Beam mm. team trending. Sacramento trending. Sacramento Kings trending, Kangs trending, and not just for hey, me. we brought back Kyrie Irving. Yes, we beat the Brooklyn Nets so bad they're like, Hey, Kyrie, don't worry, just come on, come back. There, but it was trending, be training stuff. No, 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 <laughs> don't worry about it, don't worry about it, just come on back, come on back. Ah, uh, so what was that outfit? Yeah. <laughs> That's, that's, re- that's really what you were waiting for, wasn't it? Like you had no interest in talking about the. So King what was Curry. in it? Um, was it multi? Was it multi fabric? Yes, it was multiple different types of fabric. It like was... a like a quilt. Well, no, I don't no. think it, it wasn't different fabrics. It was different patterns. No, it was different fabrics. It was yeah, different. The fabric. leopard was different than yeah. The oh, leopard yeah. was silk, right? No, the uh, the 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 flower, the floral pattern was silk. the flower mm-hmm. was silk, yeah, and then the leopard was what? I think it was cotton or cotton, or and then that. the other stuff, cotton or what? Yeah, there was the most of the jacket was cotton. Yeah, it was fire. Yeah. Of course, it was fire. I just the shirt was to- custom made too. It was it was really awkward though. The shirt the shirt was a little bit of a different vibe, but that's kind of how the design works. A little longer than you like the, it, but I like that shirt. The, it, but it was the, the funny thing is really long, but it was perfectly form fitting. Like right. if I had taken the jacket off, you would have saw how it fit. But it was from a designer called Prep Curry, who did a line, and that's 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 Prep Curry like stuff, it, it, and he did a line for Banana Republic that I loved, and it was kind of like a one and done line. And I hit him up on Instagram. He had posted some 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 pictures. I was like, yo, that's your work is amazing, man. I, I'd, I'd love to support it however I could. And he was like, yo, I'll, I'll put something together for you. Shoot me some screenshots of what you like. So I shot him a few screenshots and he made that from, you know, that's what he does. He does. Bespoke. Bespoke. You know what I need? <laughs> I need that from him. I need to hit him up for Golden One. Um, At? And Prep now, Curry, do I'm it. I'm gonna hit him up. I'm gonna be like, Damien came to a game of the ages, and I am trying to just look even somewhere close to Damien. <laughs> have to have a little high ankle. Is that your vibe though? Like, are you because like I I I I am I'm full, like I I, I ride for me. If I like it, I'm gonna wear it. Like 
could you rock something that you're a little more? I feel like disrespect is coming. No, 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 no. Like, look, you're, I just, I feel like you're a little, look, you got the honor to gift tea on mm -hmm. with the jean jacket over she had it. The, uh, what was she like, at the one time? She had the, um, the kith joint. You yeah. Know you're yeah. super, like super stylish, but I don't feel like it's, it's, I don't think you take I a lot. I think it food. depends on the event. Mm. Depends on the event. I don't like, I always like to be comfortable. Always. Or I don't like anything too that. tight around my shoulders or anything like that. But yeah, I've, I can I can do some things. I got some YSL in the closet. I got some stuff. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, Trist. I mean, I got some YSL in the closet. It's I can do some things. I mean, I'm not Damien, but I'm trying. You know, we're all just we're all just trying. Here's the thing. Let me just let me just break down how things get more casual. Number one, when you're in finance, everything's non-casual. You got A-line skirts. You got pumps. You got just button ups, just terrible. And I tried to like change it a little bit, tweak it, wear like some, some like jogger type things with the blazer and like, ah, oh, no, not for you. Not here. Not at, not at Wells Fargo. We won't be doing that. Very inappropriate. <laughs> I wasn't even showing anything. Like I don't even show skin like that. <laughs> and they were like, no, that's just unprofessional. Unpro no, no, the too tight to this, to that. So then I get out of finance. I get into media. And then I dress way up because I'm working for uh, USA Today. I've got blazers. I've got little like silk sort of things, a lot of those. And then I go from that to bar stool. And those fools wear hoodies pretty much every day, all day only. And I don't mean like ones like you wear. I mean ones that you get for free. And, <laughs> <laughs> and so I would come up and I've got actually a jacket with that leopard print kind of thing too. It's all silk from scotch and soda. And I would wear stuff like that. And they would just be like, they would just act like I was just, just an idiot. They burn me up. So you have to kind of almost dress down. So now it's kind of depending on. No, you don't. You dress for you. Yeah, like yeah, the hell yeah, with yeah, what yeah, they yeah. want. Like I, yeah. you might. But be I already had problems trouble. there, guys. I had already had problems. I That's wasn't trying we had to, to get you out of there. Yeah, we got we, you yeah, I was already having, there. they now were you, already fine now ways. Now you can do what you do. Yes. You can get yes. Not everybody when, loved what I wore, but I did. And you're a celeb. You were a celebrity. No, I was. No, so, he really no, no, he, no, no see, he was in the tunnel signing autographs. So, so you saw it. You saw it. So it's facts. The With my own, own two eyes, I was like, man, was courtside like, Kenny and signing autographs, there. Damien. I'm like, man, I got to get my game up. So the untold part of that story is, yes, I was signing autographs. They were hanging over the rails. For Kenny's kids. <laughs> The kids that he coaches. That's why that's that's why I was signing autographs for them. Because that's why they knew who I was. Because <laughs> they knew I worked with Coach King. There was more than uh, just my kids hanging over that rail. I don't think so. I think they were all your kids. Either way, it was a scene. And it I really I really enjoyed uh, the little Louis Vuitton man bag as well. I mean, the whole thing mm. was working. It's fire. Thank you. It's fire. Yeah, it was a whole thing. Right, yo, he does what hey. he does, man. He does what he right. does. Like, you, you, you going to remember. Yeah, Sam Amick, Sam Amick, I dap Sam Amick up. Boy, I spotted you from the other side of the <laughs> other side of the building. Good, that's good. Right. That's the way it yes. should be. Like I didn't encounter many people. I got a I got a blazer that looks like a disco ball. Oh, I need to see that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, so, we're oh, going yeah, to get yeah. it. Let's Tristan, go. Tristan, Tristan, Tristan. we'll watch. We'll watch Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> did Kawhi return last he night? He did. He had six points, I think, last night. Did a little fall away. Six points in how many minutes? I don't think he played a lot. Like it wasn't like he was broke. Man, is he okay? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's that's got I strong. Like that. That's got Supremes. strong Michael Jackson. Like, Supremes. She looking like she with the Supremes. Yo, put it on and start singing rock with you. <laughs> <laughs> no, not on the 40th anniversary. Not on the 40th. Day. <laughs> well, but you can you can wear it as a dress. You can wear it as a blazer. Yeah, it's long. Kind of form okay. fitting. Right. That's why I say you got a kind of different moods. I like that. See, she's versatile. Yeah. She's versatile. Hey, Trist, I want to ask you something. This is a bit of an outsider. A bit of an yep. outsider. You know, we're 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 locked in here with this whole thing. That jacket could like the be. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll bring that. Maybe I'll bring that. Oh, oh, bro. I got so, that. Hey, I got it. If, if you do, I'm getting. I'm, I'm going to find a matching one. I don't it's, know. It's how going to be a I'm Saturday night it. too. It's oh, going to yeah. be a Saturday night doco. It is. It's not going to stop with the so game. So I've I've already committed. Like this is how you get me out. You tell me in advance. Mm -hmm. 
I'll stay for the game. We going out afterwards. Yes, sir. Like we hanging out after the yes, game. Yes, sir. K Street gonna be crazy. We're gonna shut downtown Sacramento down when Tristan's crazy. here. Well, then maybe I'll wear the disco ball. Who knows? Maybe I'll find <laughs> something new. Maybe I'll wear the disco ball, but we'll collaborate. How about that? Yeah, we'll work. I, I, I'm gonna tell you right now, Tristan gonna be signing autographs from people <sighs> hanging out the rails. That's fact. She come out. I'm telling you, man, you star out here. I'm That's just, fact. That's what it is. Gonna Ken, be Kenny's gonna bring the kids though. again. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be, I'm telling you, you're gonna be signing autographs for perfect strangers. You know, I Trista, look, if need be, Trista could be a part of Batty Thursday because they be asking her about her that way. Mm -hmm. Maybe Batty Thursday. Yeah, we got Batty Thursday. We got uh Olivia, Sarah, and Matt George. Yeah, is part Matt of Batty George Thursday. is awesome. <laughs> yeah, he's he's awesome Batty at Batty. Thursday. You were gonna but, ask uh, me something as an outsider. No, nah, so as an outsider, like I thought I took a video of it, you know, I, th I thought it looked crazy on that national TV game, the crowd, game 13. Did it come off that way to somebody like outside yes. of everything? Like, yo, these people are wild. It's only the third week of the season. They are loud. I was literally just playing the light the beam chants for a friend. I was like, they seem crazy in there. Like, really turned up. Yeah. We starving, bro. Yeah, I know. It's like we're starving. <laughs> Boy, we and sure we, are starving. We eat <laughs> for the first time in a really, really long time. God, it feels different too. All those role players. Are you guys the only uh, market because there's been so much pain that all of the people who talk about the team actually like each other? Uh, yeah. You know what oh, I mean? No, I don't like everyone who talks about the team. Well, but you know what I mean? Like there's more, there's a lot of camaraderie, we'll say. There's more camaraderie than like on different beats. Do you know sure. what I mean? Sure. Sure. Yeah, that's, that's yeah there's probably yeah. a variety like of you reasons. guys like Deuce and Mo, yeah. you guys yeah, yeah, yeah. like James. I mean, there's Hans. always the ops. You know, there's mm -hmm. always the ops, but you know, aside from that, yeah, we all cool. Yeah. I, I mean, noticed that. Like a yeah. lot of support. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yo, we all just out here grinding. Mm -hmm. That's 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 what we do. Like this show, you know, this this King Struggle's been going on for years. This show's we started two years ago. Like there, there was not much else here. Deuce and Mo really kicked into high gear during the pandemic. Like that's where they really started to build like things out. So all of this stuff started to kind of come along at the same time. So we were just kind of rocking with each other. And then when James's gig, uh, gig kind of shifted a little bit, he joined us over here. And that's just kind of how it is. Yeah, we ride. We ride. We all hungry. Yeah, we all hungry. You we guys all... saw that shop episode? That shop clip? Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Come on, man. How funny. <laughs> How funny is Jalen Ramsey for calling LeBron James out for lunch? <laughs> he said, you know what we say, what they're saying about you on Twitter. You know what they're saying about you? <laughs> if Twitter goes away, what? where are we going to call out look happen? Oh, look man. happened. <laughs> we'll Twitter, find a way. Twitter can't go away, man. We love Twitter, man. Twitter's the best. I don't think it, I don't think it's really going away. Though it had strong going away vibes last no, night. I, it had really I was like, we ain't gonna make vibes. it through the night. <laughs> Twitter ain't gonna make it through the night. Yeah, I guess not. I, I guess that thing was on but, life support. But my thing is always like obviously because he didn't even create it. See, Elon Musk just ruins it, and Twitter shuts down in like a matter of weeks. Yeah, right. Like you, it took no been time. That long it took no time for him to ruin it and, and shut it down. He didn't create Twitter. The person who created it just make it again. Call it Twitter too. <laughs> <laughs> just create it again. <laughs> Run it up that way. Just I'll start try. it all over. Start it all over. I was it's like, man, I in, in uh, I don't... from L.A. Just there are people I follow and enjoy on Twitter. I don't even remember when I'm not on Twitter, you know? Right. Like, I, I'm like, oh, yeah, like, love that person. You know, love her, love him. But if once I log off of Twitter, I'm not like, where is, you know, Nick's Tape 99 at, you know? Like, <laughs> Nick's Tape 99. I'm not like, where is he? Like, how do I find more of him? But, but aren't you aren't you like a, a like a a big time celebrity on TikTok? No, no. I, I, I don't know. think that's accurate. No, no. I, I think TikTok's Trista's bag. TikTok is the, my bag, but I don't think I'm a celebrity. Yeah, yeah, I, I, don't, yeah I don't know. No, 
this is just a love fest. I'm so happy for y'all. I got the athletic saying that the Blazers aren't real, which is rude. I think we're real. I actually I do don't. Yeah, I don't agree with I that at all. I think the Blazers are a good team. I think they're going to be around. The Jazz is the team that I don't believe in. That's a surprise. But I think, I think the only uh, team Portland I'm willing to say we were wrong about, certainly I was wrong about, is the Blazers. Same. I didn't think the Blazers I was too. Good. Jeremy Grant is really good outside mm. of last night. I feel like there's two ways you can go when you're playing for money. And he's going and the, he's, he's doing it. He's doing it the way that it works. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's, yeah. he's on point. Yeah, um, he's killing. And I think, too, you're like you look at him and he realized that career arc, which is like you play for OKC, you play for Denver. You think you're the man like because you've been a high end role player that's really got a high plus minus delivered crucial buckets in crunch time of meaningful games. And so you're like, they don't respect me enough. I'm the number one. I'm the alpha. And they're like, we're not paying you like the alpha. Figure it out. So he goes to Detroit, and he's like, oh, man, there's a lot of double teams. There's a lot of double teams to be the alpha. I don't want to be the number one anymore. Dame, you be the number one. I'll be the number three, and I'll get 30 as the number three option. And everybody be like, look at him getting 30 as a three yeah. option. And you get applauded for your 22-point performance, not 22. That's Because, listen, what he did last night – as a number one option, would have had me pissed. Five points, mm -hmm. getting locked down, doing nothing defensively. But mm -hmm. as a number three option, when Shaden Sharp gives you 20 Come in on, 14 man. minutes, my that lord. Shaden, that boy Shaden, I'm telling you, he's next, man. He is next. And what did y'all trade for to get him again? Second no. round pick. Yeah. In 2025. And you'll probably be able to re-sign him too. Yeah. I think he wants to stay. There was a whole article that came out about how Dame, uh, Dame recruited him. Mm -hmm. during japan like the uh the tokyo olympics and mm -hmm. that was the only place he wanted to go was to portland let me let me ask you another question about a team that you know because we we see everything around here that's of interest to us and i want to know if you think they're real the pacers you think it's really real what's going on in indiana right now i mean tyrese is balling matherin is balling buddy hield is playing really well miles turner is balling you think you think that's the real deal? What are they? Two games over five hundred right now? Seven and six. They're yeah. about to be two games because they play the Rockets tonight. Yep. So okay. So they're seven and six. What I would say is they're kind of like they're a team that I was told wants in the, like a top five pick. So they're mm -hmm. just trying to figure out what they have. I think they're closer to OKC than they are Sacramento in terms of wanting to win. I think OKC mm -hmm. is a fun team. They're gonna probably be a five hundred team at best. But ultimately, this is a team that wants to be in the Victor sweepstakes or in the Scoot Henderson or the Nick Smith sweepstakes. But, man, I, I love Halliburton. He is fun. Benedict Matherin's fun. They've got Buddy Heald making competent decisions. Mm -hmm. Did you see some of these decisions? Like, really making the right pass, like getting in the right spot on the passing floor? Passing just in general. Yes, just, just <laughs> passing. Yeah, just passing, passing period. To the best and, of our knowledge, he hasn't dribbled the foot ball off his foot to lose a game once this year. Not one time. Hashtag and, coaching matters, kids. Hashtag then, coaching matters. Miles Turner has been awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, he could potentially get extended midway through the season because of like how the contracts work with his deal and where he was drafted after the deadline if they want to extend him. I don't think that they want him, but he's sort of playing himself into a deal and playing himself into a place for someone. So maybe they trade him because he's been playing so well. Maybe they end up, you know, moving Buddy Heald as well. I don't think they go to the Lakers. I just personally don't see that happening. Mm -hmm. But I could see, you know, them going to a team. Like, I could see Miles Turner going to Golden State. Mm -hmm. Like, I could see that. Like, they need another big that can score, that makes, you know, good enough decisions, that can get rebounds and stuff. But I don't know if they're real. I don't think they're real. I think they're really fun. Hmm. What do you think? What do you think? Uh, I don't think they're really. I like, like I don't think they're going to make the playoffs. He's such a dog. Man, I like that. So but that's kind yeah. of, that's kind of, I, I like, I like Tyrese and yeah. I respect what Buddy's doing. And, and, you know, I, I'm just so confused because they're all, like, it's constant talk about trading this and trading that. It's like, yo, if y'all are clicking, like, why? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why do any of that? But, you know, I get maybe they have a bigger picture in mind. I'm not really sure. Well, he wants a lot of money. My, I was told that Miles Turner wants like Bam Adebayo type money. You know, doesn't Jeremy Grant too? 
Yeah, but Jeremy Grant, I think, is a lot better than Miles Turner. Okay. Defensively, like he can guard point of attack. I think Jeremy Grant's a better, more consistent player than Miles Turner. But Miles Turner wants a ton of money, and he can just drop off the map. Like, he can give you 12 rebounds, and then he can give you the next game two rebounds. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Heat Check Podcast. You know, they I, 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 I continue to push people to listen to the Josh Primo episode of the Heat Check Podcast. I still haven't listened to it. it, it I'm it, it, you got to listen to it. It's one of the greatest pieces of podcast art in history. And there's nothing from the podcast I can quote on this show. It's absolutely fantastic. That's why I need to listen to you've, it. You've, you've, my update, he's been he's been cleared. Now. That is right. That, that's that's what we were saying when we, when we got the report. It was like, oh, so it's all good now. Okay, cool. Go listen to Trista's podcast about this. <laughs> keep all of keep what you're reading in mind right now, and go listen to Trista's podcast. Something that was recorded two weeks ago before right. all this got done. Yeah, right, right. It's just logic. Let's just use logic to make jokes. That's it. You can't. Well, like like Chappelle said, it shouldn't be so scary to talk anymore. I know, right? Because that podcast, I know you were that podcast was funny, dude. That it podcast, was honestly the the oh, scariest God. thing I've ever done because I was but like. It, I asked my producer, I was like, is this something that could get me in trouble? Because I feel like there's some things. And he was like, I think it's fine. And I was like, we're going to I think walk. it would have gotten us in trouble. Yeah. Right? Because we can't speak from the same perspective right, right, you can. Right, right, right. But right. for you, so good. <laughs> Chef's kiss. I need to hear your feedback on it, Kenny. I'm going to check it out. I'm going to check it out this weekend. Nice. We just want to hear more about Kings on the Heat Check podcast. So we're, we're it's going to continue. It's going to continue. Okay. I not. love I love the role players. I really do. TD Kyle, is my boy. Huh? Malik Monk. Malik Monk. TD is my boy. He, does he want to start or is he fine with this role? Because he's really he's great. fine. He's yeah, fine. Yeah, because fine. Yeah. Yeah, he plays a lot. And he plays a lot with De'Aaron, which I think was part of the point of this whole thing. He played 30 minutes last night or close to it. Yeah. And he's in the closing lineup too, which is good. Yeah. Well, he hasn't like in 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 he's he keeps finding these moments where he just goes nuts, and he in and he hits like a super impactful shot, mm -hmm. and doing it at home is such a you know I need to see him see him do it on the road and give the you know mm -hmm. give the opposing crowd one of those because he's doing it here and he's lighting the golden one center on fire. Yeah. yeah, and he was he was the only bright spot to me for the Lakers. Like he was one of the only guys last year where I was like. Man, Malik Monk is kind of cooking. Mm -hmm. Like he's yeah. good. And Kevin Herter has been Kevin Herter has been a massive help. Six I eight, know. what? Six eight, six seven? Can I didn't shoot. realize he was that big. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Everything's clicking right now. Everything's clicking. Don't make any You're changes. Best. You're the oh, best. No. no, we riding. We love you yeah. to death. We'll see you next week. See you, see you guys next week. Love you. Bye. The Crick Heat Check Podcast.